So one of the things that we haven't really touched on very much is the idea of the landing page. You know, what about the landing page itself on which the lead magnet, um, on which the lead magnet is being offered? So what I've, what I've given you as, as an additional kind of resource here is our 16 page landing page checklist that does go through some of the elements that ideally should be present if you want to really maximize the conversion rate of your lead magnet. So ideally, your lead magnet is being offered on its own landing page. But in some cases, that's not going to be the case, right? I showed you an example before of the e-commerce property where it was just a bar at the top. Maybe that's all you can do, and that's going to be better than nothing. Um, I, I, certainly, the, the example I showed you with Kate Spade where it was its own landing page is superior, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do, right? In some cases, a landing page isn't even relevant because you're in more of a brick and mortar capacity. So I gave you this but it's a general guide. These are the things that you, you know, more times than not, you would like to see. So you want to make sure that you're calling out to your market, that people know that it's for them. You want to make sure that it's clear and concise, that it's easily understood, that you have a compelling headline, that you have a call to action above the fold. So these are all the elements that we want to see, but none of them are essential, right? None of them absolutely positively have to be in, in place. And the thing that I want you to understand most about a landing page is just keep it simple. Keep it simple. A great lead magnet, a great well-titled lead magnet that speaks to a desired end result, that answers questions that people are asking, that can save a bad landing page. The landing page that I showed you uh, before for the water filtration was a terrible landing page. Awful, horrible, embarrassing. I don't even like to admit that we were behind it, but that's what they wanted. But you know what? It worked. It worked because of the lead magnet. So a great lead magnet can save a bad landing page, but a landing page, I don't care how great it looks, I don't care you know, how well optimized it is, it will never, ever, ever make a bad lead magnet convert, okay? So don't get stuck on landing page design. Stick with something that is congruent with your brand. Stick with something that is, that's working in your market. It, landing page design differs a lot from market to market. They also differ a lot from traffic source. Right? There's certain landing pages that are perfectly fine to send traffic to if you're mailing from your list, but aren't compliant if the traffic is coming from Google or Facebook, for example. There are certain landing pages that you want to optimize for uh, organic search that aren't even remotely, again, uh, that, that, that don't have very high, um, that don't have all the elements that I talked about back on the checklist, and that's okay because they're optimized for search. So don't get stuck on the landing page, okay? Get stuck on the lead magnet. Get stuck on making sure that your lead magnet is specific because the landing page more times than not is going to be driven by traffic source. Okay, it's gonna be driven by traffic source. So don't get stuck there. Make sure you got a compelling lead magnet. I'm confident that no matter what your landing page looks like, obviously within reason, it's gonna convert, it's gonna do just fine.